In a previous video called Atomic Quantities, I focused on the element potassium. Potassium atoms have 19 protons, 19 electrons, and a zero charge or oxidation state, but they're very chemically reactive. The potassium ion, which is what's found in those foods I discussed, has 19 protons and 18 electrons and a one plus overall charge or oxidation state, and that version of potassium as an ion is stable. So what I want to show you is what's the difference between potassium elemental form and ion form. So here's what elemental potassium looks like. It's a shiny gray metal that is very soft, uh, has very low density, and can be cut with um, almost anything. This time I'm just going to use a spatula. And I'm going to take a very, very tiny piece of potassium and put it into the water here and watch what happens. I'm going to put that one on the side, drop this in, and back up. So that's what happens when you put elemental potassium in water. It's very reactive. What's inside of here are those potassium ions in the water. And the question is, why does potassium want to lose an electron in the first place? So that's what we're going to do with our foldable, is build a quantum theory model of the atoms so that you can see where the electrons are and why some atoms want to lose electrons and some want to gain, and how many they want to lose or gain. So here's what you're going to need, a compass, a stapler, two pieces of computer paper, and some writing utensils. Those two pieces will be folded in half, and then along the side we'll take a stapler and put three staples along the edge to secure those two pieces together. The title of the booklet will be The Quantum Mechanical Model of the Atom. On your first two pages, you'll have quantum numbers and an orbital diagram. The four quantum numbers here are listed as the principal, angular momentum, magnetic, and spin quantum number. And then you'll build an orbital diagram on the right that'll go from 1s all the way to 9s. On the center of the foldable will be an electron cloud model for the neon atom. And then on the following pages, you'll have electron configurations and noble gas configurations and valence. We'll do configurations for hydrogen all the way to iron. On the back you'll have some terms and rules. The terms that you're going to need to define are listed here. And then the rules that you need to explain are on the bottom part of that page. I have an example of what the orbital diagram will look like here. And also an example of the center, which is the electron cloud model for neon. And finally, an example for some electron figurations for the elements that we have listed. In my potassium demonstration, I made a mistake. I really should have pulled my hair back because, as you saw, potassium, when it reacts with water, can create a flame. And the flame color actually is specific to potassium. And that's something that we'll talk about when we get to wavelength, frequency, and speed of light in the next foldable.